Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the shop. Here getting ready for the SoFlo Nationals next weekend. Just showing you a few things that I'm doing to get ready for the race. Um, the things that I make that I break, or like these, I made a few extra of these. I've broken a few of these. I'm not the best driver, y'all know. So I'm making a few extra of those for each car. Of course, I might make a whole assembly where I can just put on four screws in this whole, you know, because I don't know what it's going to be like with 500 people there and something goes wrong. We all got to be just prepared for the worst. So I'm building extra diffs, extra complete trannies, bought extra motors, going to re pre-wire them. I got extra batteries. I got extra pretty much everything. I got the anti-roll bars. That's pretty much the only thing that really breaks on the anti-roll system. If you hit something really hard, sometimes you'll twist the bar. But since they've narrowed the bar and made it a better design, I haven't bent one yet. Um, put an antenna on this because as you can see, at Okeechobee at least, I have a signal problem that goes off the end of the track. So got to make sure that doesn't happen. Getting one ready for high that's coming in the mail tomorrow. May put this 2.5 in hide. Maybe put the 2.0 in Jekyll. Like I said, we got one weekend of testing coming up this weekend. We got rained out last weekend. So that's just some of the few things I'm doing to get ready for this race. I mean, $25,000, everyone is coming. There's nowhere else to go. It's snowing. That's why we race down here in the south. Just like then, man. You don't bring that kind of stuff because when you hit the wall with that or anything else, you're done. You know what I mean? These cars, it's a whole different set of toolbox, let's say, when it comes to parts breakage. Pretty much, I only break the stuff in the front in the back. I've heard a lot of people saying they don't run the metal case because they have tranny issues. I was noticing after every few rounds, I just take the pinion off and I'll spin mine just to make sure everything's good because I don't run the speed secret bearings because I hear those are the best and stuff. I just run the... Uh, um, fast eddy bearings and stuff so I did notice every once in a while because you really can't get I run Traxxas as you guys know the top shaft gear I'm having a hard time finding a hard and this Proline stuff ain't the issue so what I did is I've been using this it ain't cheap this is um, ceramic dry grease it's got a ball in it you have to shake it it's really good. It won't, nothing will leak out of the case or anything. It's really good against breakdown, and I have seen nowhere. Because I, I, I just believe, you know, and I know, I don't believe lightest is the best. I mean, the less energy it takes for you to move stuff, that's why we're going with the high dollar bearings and all that stuff. So, why would you make it heavy? Um, so, yeah, just letting you guys know, man, this is used on like world class bicycles, motocross racers. It ain't coming off the gears, and it has very little resistance. Just when you put it in, before you make your first pass, just warm up the train a little bit. Just, you know, a couple of RPMs just to get it to get back to a liquid state. It's really good stuff, and uh, as you can see, you guys should check it out. It's expensive, though. I think it's $65, but you'll never buy another lube again. For, I use it for everything. Real quick, got a shout out here. Josh from the channel sent me these rims, man. I I tried to pay him, he wouldn't let me do it, but man, look at the work. If you guys see him on my channel, I know Bombshells does a great job. I don't know, but these things came out sweet. Real quick, just to show you something while we're talking about rims. I always say real quick. Just to show you that all rims aren't created equal. And I know you guys all know this stuff, but there's three different manufacturers with three different widths. I also got a pre-order in with John Krull, if I'm saying his name right, with those new tires and rims. I think that will be the where to go. These were going to get Voodoo's put on them. They haven't showed up. If any of you other guys got in on the pre-orders for Voodoo's and you received them, please let me know. I sent an email. They took my money about, I guess, a month ago or so. I don't remember, but I don't think they're going to make it. So we're going to have to handle all this crap on reactions. I don't care. We'll get it done. All right, guys. Wish me luck testing this weekend. We're going to give it hell.